Good evening and welcome to the Boonesboro High School Career Technology Education Organization Senior Recognition Night. Tonight, we will honor seniors who went above and beyond in their respective CTE organizations. These organizations include the Future Business Leaders of America, led by Ms. Molly Shear, Robotics, led by Mr. Justin Baker, and the FFA organization, led by Ms. Elizabeth Comstock and Ms. Quinn Martin. Please join us as we honor the contributions of our outstanding seniors. The Future Business Leaders of America, better known as FBLA, is focused on creating leaders in the business world through gaining more knowledge on various areas of business, building confidence through participation in competitive events, and involvement in the school and community. This year, there were 16 outstanding senior students, each, each contributing to the overall success of our club. Many of our seniors participated in the State Leadership Conference held in Baltimore, but didn't get the full experience because of a state mandate to leave just as the conference was getting underway. Despite the disappointment of not participating in the three-day event, the participants handled the situation with dignity and grace. Their leadership truly did shine through. Tonight, Mrs. Shear will recognize this group with a special focus on two outstanding senior members, President Shakina Kirpati and Vice President Elliot Petty. Hi, this is Mrs. Shear, the advisor of the Future Business Leaders of America. This is a shout out for our 16 senior students and a special recognition for two of our standout seniors, our President Shakina Kirpati and our Vice President Elliot Petty. Shakina has brought a much appreciated perspective to our FBLA chapter. She joined our club last year not really knowing what this organization was all about. She did not have me as a teacher in any of her classes, but simply wanted to know more about business outside her regular school day. As a junior, Shakina had first place finish in business communications at State, then participated in the national competition held in San Antonio, Texas. This year, Shakina ended second in States in the area of advertising and will be participating in the virtual national leadership experience. Shakina, you have never ceased to amaze me. I wish you well in both the national competition and in your next chapter of life in college. I don't know what that will look like for you, but I'm positive you will find your way to the top. Elliot is our only senior this year with a triple CTE business completer in accounting, marketing, and software specialist. Elliot was also quickly on board with joining FBLA last year and focused on prepping for the sports and entertainment management comp competitive event with two other students. This team of three finished fourth in the state and joined Shakina at the National San Antonio competition. This year, Elliot explored the area of insurance and risk management, and we all laughed and said, do you know what you're doing, Elliot? But he proved he did know what he was doing, ending in a fantastic fifth place finish. Elliot, you've taught me so much in the past two years, and the best part of this was seeing life being a little less stressful and maybe with a little more humor. Thank you for your lessons on life. I can only hope that you leave FBLA with the confidence to know that you are able to reach any goal that you have your heart set on. Shakina and Elliot, you are both great examples for the next group of business leaders at Boonesboro High School. You saw FBLA at its best time and its most challenging time, but you always, always saw things through a positive lens. I hope you walk away from your senior year with fond memories of FBLA, not just being top-notch winners, but memories of the friendships you've made and the experiences you were part of. Thank you both for putting 100% effort into FBLA. I wish you two nothing but the best. Congratulations and good luck. Boonesboro's Robotics Club is an extracurricular club open to all students. The goal of this club is to increase student interest and involvement in STEM by engaging students in hands-on robotics engineering programs. The main focus of the club is the VEX Robotics Competition, which is an annual event for middle and high school students. In this competition, teams design, build, and program robots to compete at tournaments with the challenge of changing each year. Each challenge consists of teams manipulating objects on a field to score points. This year, the club competed in three different tournaments, two at South High and one at James Rumsey Institute in West Virginia. The Boonesboro Robotics Club successfully advanced one robot to the state competition. Tonight, Mr. Baker will recognize the senior students who played an active role in the overall success of this organization. Hello, 
I am Justin Baker and I've been advising the Boonesboro Robotics team for the past four years. When I first got started with the program, I had no idea how involved and dedicated the students would be. I have seen a range of emotions and a truly amazing team attitude displayed by the students throughout the years. This year, we have five seniors who are currently active in the club. I would like to start by recognizing Chris Lee. Chris, along with a few previous BHS graduates, is the co-founder of VEX team number 96807 of BHS. Chris has been a guiding force throughout the four years he has participated. He has spent most of his time designing and building robots, but has always been available to help any member. When Chris helps somebody, he makes sure that the other person understands why something works the way that it does, not just that it works. I am happy that Chris got me involved in this club, as it has been awesome to see the work that has been accomplished over the years. Caleb Lang has been involved with the program for the past three years. He has helped build, program, and design robots during this time. He describes his chief role as that of Chief High Velocity Precision Material Removal Engineer. In other words, he likes to cut stuff off the robots using a Dremel. Caleb was always willing to collaborate with other groups and provide alternative solutions for a problem. I think Caleb can best be described as a tinkerer. Many times I've come into my room to find something disassembled and laying in pieces. If I got lucky, it would eventually get put back together and still be working. This is Logan Glauser's first year with the club, which is unfortunate because he has been a great addition. He helped build and advise, taking on the role of devil's advocate, a role that suits him well. While it may not seem important or even desirable to have somebody questioning decisions or plans, it is vital for a team to step back and consider if an idea is actually a good idea. Many times I have seen a team move forward after a suggestion, work on it for hours, only to find out that it doesn't work, then have another team member say, I didn't think that would work. Logan was never afraid to say he didn't think something would work before all the time was wasted. Saxon Knight joined the program the same year as Caleb. Her positive attitude and willingness to put up with what could sometimes be bullheaded teammates made for a wonderful addition to the group. While she describes herself as the, what are we doing again? As well as the, explain that one more time to me, person, she provided many practical solutions while others proposed complex, convoluted plans. She was consistently the calm in a sometimes contentious and tumultuous room. On a side note, I could be wrong, but I think the quote, best team member she referred to in her memories is a hammer. Last, but certainly not least, is Mark Frushauer. Mark has participated the past two years in all aspects of the process. This year, Mark worked independently during the school day as part of the Robotics C++ class. Mark designed, built, programmed, and drove a robot for the VEX Tower Takeover competition. It was his programming for the skills portion of the competition that qualified him for stakes. While, the, while at the competition, Mark competed solo against teams much larger and better equipped. Nonetheless, Mark advanced to the semifinals of his division and displayed a caliber of sportsmanship and determination that would make any BHS community member proud. Logan's favorite memory is one of my favorite parts of advising this club. Seeing the joy on students' faces after hours of struggling with components and they get something to finally work as intended. I just want to say thank you and best of luck. I have had a good time and I hope you have as well. FFA is an intracurricular student organization for those interested in agriculture and leadership. It is one of the three components of agricultural education. The official name of the organization is the National FFA Organization. All students enrolled in agriculture education courses at Boonesboro High School have the opportunity to be involved in this organization. However, tonight we will recognize the two seniors who have each served in leadership positions on the Boonesboro FFA officer team. 
Helen Lettingham has served the Boonsboro FFA in three leadership positions, including secretary, president, and most recently, student advisor. As a freshman, Helen competed in the Food Science Career Development event and won first place in, with her team at the Maryland State Competition. She advanced to the National FFA Convention where her team earned a bronze finish. As a junior, Helen competed with the Maryland State winning Dairy Cattle Evaluation and Management Career Development event. While representing Maryland at the National FFA Convention, Helen earned a bronze recognition and contributed to the team's overall silver place finish. Helen also competed in various regional and state public speaking events throughout all four years, often earning high honors in these competitions as well. Additionally, Helen will be awarded her Maryland FFA state degree during the Maryland State FFA Convention after recording three years work of experiential work, logging over 1,700 hours of paid agriculture related experience outside of the classroom. Upon graduation, Helen plans to pursue a position on the 2020-2021 Maryland FFA State Officer Team. She has completed the interview process and awaits the announcement during Maryland FFA State Convention on June 26th. Helen will also be pursuing an associate's degree in business from Hagerstown Community College while continuing to work on farms in the Boonesboro area. Continuing these agriculture-related experiences will ensure Helen completes the requirements for the American FFA degree, the highest award for any FFA member that is earned by less than 1% of FFA members nationwide. Helen has prepared a few words to share about her FFA experiences. I'm Helen Lenningham, and I'm currently the student advisor at Boonsboro FFA chapter. FFA has made a huge impact on my life by allowing me to travel, meet new people, compete in career development events, and leadership development events. My favorite memory of FFA is traveling to National Convention in Indianapolis, Indiana and seeing all those blue corduroy jackets shining through the streets. My advice to the underclassmen would be to take as many ag classes as possible so that you can explore your interests and find which one that you really like. Thank Ellen. you. Congratulations on all your accomplishments through the FFA over the past four years. Your leadership within Boonesboro FFA has been a pillar for other members to lean on, learn from, and build on to. Your strong ortho ethic and determination to compete any task placed upon you will take you far in life. We cannot wait to continue to cheer you on through your next chapter. Olivia DeBaugh has served the Boonesboro FFA in two leadership positions, including vice president and most currently president. Olivia participated in a variety of career and leadership development events at the regional, state, and national level including extemporaneous speaking, milk quality and products, and dairy cattle evaluation and management. Most notably, as a junior, Olivia placed first individually in the state dairy cattle evaluation and management career development event. The team also earned first, qualifying them for the national contest where Olivia earned a silver finish individually, contributing to her team's overall finish of silver. Upon graduation, Olivia will be attending Hagerstown Community College with plans to transfer to a four-year college to pursue her degree in agriculture extension and education. Olivia has aspirations of becoming an agriculture teacher upon completion of her degree. She has prepared a few words to share about her FFA experiences. Hi, my name is Olivia Duvall, and I am currently the president of the Boonesboro FFA chapter. Over the last four years, FFA has impacted my life so much that I have decided to pursue my education in agriculture. One of my favorite FFA memories is definitely joining this officer team, being able to travel to the National FFA Convention, and making friends that have turned into family. My advice for the underclassmen are just keep pushing forward, don't look back, join the FFA teams, be a participant in your ag classes, and respect your ag teachers. They turn out to be your biggest supporters. Olivia, congratulations on all of your accomplishments through the FFA over the past four years. Your grit and determination will take you far. Thank you for your dedication to the betterment of the Boonesboro FFA chapter. Your willingness to lead did not go unnoticed. We look forward to watching you cultivate change in your own classroom in the near future. Helen and Olivia, as you mingle with others, be diligent in labor, just in your dealings, courteous to everyone, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Seniors, thank you for your dedication to our career and technology education organizations. 
Your commitment and leadership have made a lasting impact at Boonesboro High School. May you use these experiences and continue working hard during the next chapter of your life.